Hi, and welcome to another training video. Um, since posting my last video on Power Query and using relative references, I've had a few questions on the VBA mention, uh, uh, sorry, method that I mentioned. Um, so let me just show you an example of how I did this with the VBA as well. So here's my Excel file. I'll just show you how it works. So similar to the other example where we put in here the function cell and then use the left to find it, what we're doing here is we're using VBA to actually create this path. Now, at the moment, it's the path that was in there the last time I saved this file. So I've just opened this file again, and if that's not the right file, um, and we're talking about the file for the data source, then I have a button here that I can click on to update the path. Now, this actually opens up a simple user form and I've just thrown this together so it's still called user form one clearly I'd change that um, and at the moment it has a path in there now because I have said change the path what I've done is I've set this so that on initialization it puts in here the same path as this workbook so it puts in the path that this workbook is saved in as the new path now it hasn't written it to that cell yet but if I hit store folder path, then it will write that new path to this cell here. Now, if that's not the path I want, then I have a choice to change it. And as per usual, I just click on the dot, 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 and now it opens up a browser and it goes into your, um, your preset last folder for Excel, so your preset directory. Um, but of course you can change it, you can choose something else, so I can choose that folder there. And as soon as I've chosen a folder and click OK, that now writes it into here. And then when I hit Store Folder Path, it pastes it into that cell there. Now you'll notice I've got that cell selected, and it's got a named range associated with that cell. So the named range is Data Folder. And why that's relevant is if I go into my Queries and Connections, over here, I have a query. I'll just bring Power Query onto the same screen. Um, so it's a connection, and you'll see that I have the source here. And if I just go into my advanced editor, you'll see that I have the source is a variable called data folder. And all I've done is, as in my previous video, I've defined that variable here, and it is a property of the current workbook, and it is a named range which is called data folder. And that relates to the named range which was in cell A2 that we saw earlier. Um, okay, so that's the method that I've used for VBA. Um, Clearly, I wouldn't necessarily want to hide this sheet. I'd want the user to see this sheet because they need to update the path. I could also use a VBA method to have this sheet, um, a hidden sheet, and have data written onto the hidden sheet. But in this particular case, we want the user to see it because we want them to click certain buttons. Um, one thing I hadn't mentioned about that button as well, so if I just go into the, the Visual Basic, so the VBA editor, for this here and if I go into the user form that button there will actually also refresh the query so once it's done um, changing the value on a2 it then automatically refreshes the query as a part of this code okay I hope that's been useful to you um, once again, thank you for listening.